Create keeps us back at it again, this time with their take on a TKL. This is the Lumen Key 80, and it puts the built in pre-built. So let's take a look. Right after you, put the lick in smash that like button, and you get to see me lick this board. Oh, dude. <laughs> Tastes like Crytox. <laughs> If you'll remember from my recent review of the Lumen Key 75, Create Keeps is a Chinese keyboard design studio that's released some pretty unique boards. The Lumen Key line takes it one step further by offering pre-built boards that feel like a custom mechanical keyboard, but at a much more affordable price point. The Lumen Key 80 is a 10 keyless gasket mounted board with a polycarbonate plate and a 1.5 millimeter thick tri-mode PCB that's QMK and VIA compatible. Here's a photo of the exploded layout which shows the internal copper weight and the slots for the batteries as well as the gasket implementation using gasket socks rather than strips. I'm a huge fan of gasket socks for their ease of install and while I'm not a huge advocate for wireless connectivity, it's one of those nice to haves that definitely leads to a cleaner profile on the desk. In testing this board, I've been running it only wireless and I've noticed no input lag, so I'm starting to become a fan. The fully built board weighs roughly 2.1 kilograms or 4.6 pounds in freedom units. It comes in wind key or wind keyless, silver, black, or beige with optional add-ons for a PVD stainless steel accent. Oh, and the bare bones kit, which includes Gatoron stabilizers, starts at just $215 with the fully assembled board with EPBT 9009 or white on black costing just $280. The pre-built comes with LumenKey's own Silva switches, which are a Gatoron manufactured linear switch with a full nylon housing and a long pole palm stem. The Silva has a total travel of 3.7 millimeters, an actuation weight of 48 grams, and a bottom out weight of 55 grams. Let's take a listen to this pre-built board right out of the box. Here's the stock typing test. So this board blew me away with the overall quality and feel. Fit and finish are superb, and I can't help but compare it to the Geonworks Frog TKL, which shared a similar vision in terms of in-stock, more affordable custom experience. The Lumen Key 80 easily trades blows with the Frog, and when we open it up, we can see how the sausage is made. The disassembly is extremely simple, and you can see the 1mm pour-on sheet that helps with any unwanted resonance. Overall, everything about the Lumen Key 80 feels like I'm receiving a custom mechanical keyboard group by, with none of the drawbacks like price and wait times. The board's in pre-order until October 15th, with an expected ship date of only 2-3 to three months. I have to say, given all the drama that's unfolded recently on the keyboard group by side of the hobby, I can't help but feel that boards like this one are the future, at least in the near term of the mechanical keyboard space. And if every board is like this one, the future's pretty bright. There's a link in the description to a full list of regional vendors, which is another huge win in my book. If you've been wanting to try TKL, then it doesn't really get much better than this. Check out some more keyboard content here. I'm MakerMods, and I'll catch you in the next video.